Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I can't believe that I'm filming my November favorites. I seriously feel like the year just started and now the year is just about over. Like this year has really flown by for me and I've had a whole lot of things happen to me this year. Um, as you guys know, like I've been going through a divorce and um, it's finally it's finally finalized, I guess you could say. Um, we finally signed the divorce papers last week, which by the time you guys see this video, it probably will have been a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, this month has been a hard month for me. And this year has just been such a, I don't want to say hard year. I mean, it has been a hard year, but in a good way like I've grown a lot like I've changed a lot there's just a lot of things that's happened this year and last year but I just want to thank you guys for all of your support during this year for me um, and all the sweet comments and emails that you guys sent to me about my divorce and everything like that if you guys haven't seen those videos or if you don't know what I'm talking about like I'll link my life update videos down in the description box and you guys can like check those out if you want to watch that but yeah this month has been a rough month for me um, but it's had its good times too so it hasn't been all bad I don't want to start this uh, favorites video like out on a sad note but I did want to like update you guys on that um, but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into my favorites this month because I have several beauty favorites and these things make me happy, so I'm just going to jump into these. So the first thing that was a favorite for me this past month of November is this Fergie Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Palette. And I think that this palette is called Milano Collections. I think that's the name of this palette. I'm not for sure. But I did get this little palette in this Fergie Wet n Wild gift set. I don't know if you can see it. It's so reflective. Um, I got it at Walgreens this month. And this is just the Fergie Center Stage Eye Collection um, like little gift set. I can't remember if I said I got it for $10 at Walgreens. But yeah. It came with this eyeshadow palette and with some eyeliners, an eyeshadow brush, and a mascara. But I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I also love the eyeliners, but you guys know that I love the eyeliners that came in that, um, in that, in this gift set. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. I was going to call it a palette. Um, but yeah, this is just a great palette. The eyeshadows are super pigmented. They are a tad bit powdery, so I would definitely recommend using some shadow shields or putting your foundation on after you use these eyeshadows. But they're just really pigmented. You have some really great um, matte colors in here. Like you have a good matte highlight color. You have a shimmery highlight color. Um, you have like a matte uh, mid-tone brown. You have like a dark matte brown, a dark matte black. And as you can see, like they're just so pigmented, these eyeshadows, and they're super easy to blend out. It's just an amazing palette. So if you can get your hands on this thing, highly recommend it. And I have been in love with it this month of November. And then another eyeshadow palette that I have been loving this month is the Urban Decay Naked Basics. And I haven't talked about this palette in a favorites or in a video. I did a tutorial with it today on this makeup look. Um, so if I have that video up, I'll link it down below. If not, I'll just link it down in the description box whenever it is up. But I love the Urban Decay Naked Basics. Like, it's just a good basic eyeshadow palette. All the colors in here are matte except for this first shade here. It does have some shimmer in it. Um, but it's just, like I said, a great basic palette. Like they are, the colors in here are just really pigmented, super easy to blend out. This is a great palette for traveling. I feel like people mention this palette quite a bit. Not as much as like the naked palettes, but it's still. A palette that I feel like people talk about a lot. I haven't mentioned it much, but I've had this palette for like a year. I don't reach for it real often because I do have some drugstore 
drugstore alternatives. But when I do want something that I can take with me, like traveling or I don't know, like sometimes I just go in my phases with it just because it's easy. I have all the colors right there and the quality of the eyeshadows are just awesome. And you have everything that you need for like a basic eye look like a basic everyday eye look. So yeah, I do recommend this. This would be like a great cr Christmas gift for somebody as well. Um, especially somebody that's just getting into makeup um, or just loves natural looking eyeshadows just for like everyday looks. This is a good little gift to give. This next favorite is a Wet n Wild eyeliner and this is the Mega Eyes and it's already rubbed off. I think it was called Defining Marker, maybe? Yeah, I think that's what it was called. The writing's already starting to wear off. But it's just a felt tip liquid liner, and it is so pigmented. Like, I just love the pigmentation of it. It's super easy to use. I love how fine the little brush is on this. It's even more like fine and precise than my Jordana Fabi liners. So I've really been enjoying this one better than like my Jordana Fabi liner in brown. And I think this color is just in brown. I don't know if it says on here. It's either in the color brown or dark brown. I don't remember. But they also have one in black that I want to go back and pick up. But it's just such an easy, quick product to use, you know, on, on your upper lash line to get like a really precise line. And then it's a really great product to use to for like winged eyeliner. It's super easy. I used this in my Wet n Wild one, one brand makeup tutorial, which should already be up. If it's up, I'll link it down below if you'd like to see this in action, but it lasts all day long. It's just so easy, really pigmented, and it's a very dark, like, black-brown color. My next favorite I am completely in love with, and I feel kind of bad for mentioning this because I don't know if Sephora has it in stock right now. Um, because I know after they had the Sephora Via B Rouge sale, I'm pretty sure that this sewed out. But it's the Becca Jaclyn Hill, um, what is this? I can't remember the exact name of it. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Champagne Glow, like, palette. I just love the packaging on this. Like, it's so pretty. And the colors in here are awesome. Like, you have Champagne Pop, which is right here in the middle. You have this color here, which is called Pearl. And then this is a blush color right here in the color, I think it's Blushed Copper. Yeah. Um, I did show some dupes for these if you can't get a hold of this palette from Sephora in my uh, VIB Rouge Sephora haul that I posted. So if you would like to see my dupes for these, just go check out that video. I'll link it down in the description box. Um, but I just love all these colors. I would have to say I think my favorite is actually the pearl. Um, I don't know if you can see it swatched on my hand right here. I feel like those swatches are going to be awful. Maybe I'll swatch here on my arm so you can see what they look like swatched. Champagne Pop is also really pretty, but I just feel like this time of the year with it moving into winter, the pearl just looks so pretty. And Blushed Copper is actually super pretty on the cheeks as well. Um, I don't know, that was probably also a bad place to swatch. Um, so hopefully you can see them right here. Like, they are pretty intense, but they are so, so pretty. I have pearl on my cheeks today, so hopefully you can see it there. Um, just such a beautiful highlight for somebody that is more on the fair side. My next favorite is a lipstick, and it's one of the Fergie Wet n Wild lipsticks, and this is in the color Ferguson Crest Cabernet, or Cabernet, I think it's Cabernet. Um, but it's just a really pretty dark, berry, vampy kind of color. It is just so pretty. I wore this in my Wet n Wild One Brand Makeup Tutorial and in some of my other videos that I posted, I guess, last week. Um, so if you'd like to see what this color looks like on the lips, I'll just link those videos down below and you can check them out. But it's just such a beautiful color. And the lipstick is really long wearing, super creamy, but not so creamy that it feathers out um, and bleeds. Um, it stays put, but it just feels so nice on the lips. It's so pigmented. It's such a beautiful color. 
The only thing that I am upset about is the packaging on this. Like, it doesn't roll up or down. I guess I got, like, one that was messed up. So, that is a little disheartening um, with this one. And I know with some of the Wet n Wild lipsticks, you kind of have to be careful with that. That sometimes they break off in the little tubes and then they don't roll up or roll down. Um, so, yeah, that's the only downfall to this. But... I really love this color. I just think it's so pretty for winter. This next product is a lip liner, and this is one of the Rimmel Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencils, and this is in the color Tiramisu. And I was looking for a good, like, nude brownish mauve color for my lips, and this is, like, the perfect color. It just looks so pretty under nude lipsticks. Um, like if you have a nude lipstick that's a little too light, if you line your lips with this and then put that lipstick over top, it just looks so pretty. And this is also like a great pencil to, um, to do like an ombre lip. Like if you have a really light nude lipstick, it looks really pretty. It's just, it's just a great nude color. It, and <clears throat> sorry my voice just cut out <laughs> and this is one of the ones that you have to sharpen with a pencil sharpener so I do prefer the um, Rimmel Exaggerate lip liners because you don't have to sharpen them you just roll them up um, to this one but I do really like the color of this one and it's a great nude it lasts for a decent amount of time on the lips so yeah if you're looking for a good nude lip liner this is a great one and then my last Four products that I'm going to mention are rediscovered favorites for me. So I'm not going to talk about them too much. But this first one is the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. I used this whenever I did my Wet n Wild One Brand Makeup Tutorial. And honestly, I forgot how much I loved this eyeshadow primer. This is a great one from the drugstore. You all know that I love my Milani eyeshadow primer. And this one is right there with the Milani one. It just does a great job of keeping your eyeshadows on all day long, like keeping them vibrant, and also keeping your eyeshadows from creasing. So I just can't do my eyeshadows anymore without an eyeshadow primer. So if you're looking for another good drugstore option besides the Milani one, this Wet n Wild Fergie one is great. Then my next favorites are um, primers. And normally I don't use face primers um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but recently I have been. And I have really bad, well I guess it's not real bad, but I have some acne scarring like right here um, on my chin like mouth area. And so I've been you know, getting back into primer to fill in those spots on my face. Um, but these are the two primers I have been loving and rediscovered. The Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and the Benefit The Professional. This is a great option, if like a great drugstore option for the Benefit Pore Professional. But if you can afford the Benefit Pore Professional, I highly recommend it. Um, it just does a great job of like blurring out pores, like filling them in, prepping your face to make foundation go on a lot more smooth. It helps to make your foundation last longer and it smells really good too. So both of these do that. This baby skin does that as well. I just find that with the Benefit Pore Professional, it is a little more moisturizing than the baby skin. So if your skin's a little more on the dry side, maybe give this one a try. But you couldn't go wrong with either or. And yeah, I've been loving these. Um, if you guys know of some other great like silicone based primers for like minimizing pores, whether it be like high-end or drugstore, leave those suggestions down or recommendations down in the comments for me because I would like to try out some other options. I know that Smashbox makes some really great primers. Um, so yeah, just just leave you know your recommendations down in the comments. My last favorite this month, which was another rediscovered product, is the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. And I love this concealer. I forgot how much I like to use this like on a day-to-day -day basis because it is 
like it has good coverage but it's not super heavy like it's more lightweight so if you're using a BB cream or if you're just using some powder on your face and you're not using a lot of foundation this is a great concealer um, because since it isn't super full coverage it doesn't look like you're wearing too much concealer if you're not wearing you know foundation and you're just wearing a BB cream or powder so it just looks really natural on the under eye area but it helps to eliminate the dark under eye circle those were all of my favorites this past month all of my beauty product favorites this past month of November um, like always let me know down in the comments what some of your favorites were this past month of November and not sure exactly when I'm going to post this, but I hope that you guys either had or either had or that you're going to have a happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you all in my next video. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye, guys.